I'm eight years old and I'm in third grade and I'd like, and I'm here with my dad. He's gonna ask me some questions about the brain and we'll see if I can answer them. Okay, Kai, I'm gonna ask you a couple questions. First question I'm gonna ask you is. Go ahead, Papa. What is the center of our fight or flight response? That'd be the amygdala. Well, what's the command center of the brain? Thalamus. What about memory? Hippocampus. Which part of the brain connects both hemispheres? Corpus callosum. Left controls right, right controls left. What part of the brain is primarily responsible for coordination? Coordination? Duh, the cerebellum and motor cortex. What else does the motor cortex help us with? Well, I like to think of the motor cortex as movement on a motorcycle. Okay, great. Now, what is right in front of the motor cortex? The pre-motor cortex, which has something called ner mirror neurons. Well, let's say a monkey picked up a can. Well, then I would pick up a can. Okay, so mirror neurons are in the premotor cortex. What's the reward center of the brain? The reward center is the basal ganglia. Is there any part of the brain that just provides cushioning for the brain? Nothing else but cushioning. My second favorite part of the brain, the ventricles. Okay, great. Could you name the four lobes for us? Occipital has to do with eyesight. Parietal has to do with vision of the world. Temporal has to do with speaking. And Frontal is also known as the frontal cortex, and it helps with thinking. Okay, fantastic. So, let me ask you this. If people are cranky and they don't know why they're cranky, what's the possibility for why they're being cranky or maybe mean to people? Hypothalamus. What do you mean by that? Hypothalamus is the part of your body that if you are hungry, thirsty, tired, or hot or cold, too hot or cold, then you get cranky. Like how I'm about to get cranky. So how does it help you to know about the hypothalamus? Well, if, instead of being cranky and acting out on others and being mad, instead I just say I'm hungry and I'm done. Stuffed. So you said you're about to be in your hypothalamus, so what's that mean? Are you hungry? I'm hungry and tired. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to do this interview with us. You're and welcome. is there anything you'd like to say as a farewell? The brain is wider than the sky. So put them side by side, the one the other will contain with ease and you decide. The brain is deeper than the sea for holding hold of blue to blue. And they will absorb as sponge as buckets do. The brain is just the weight of God for half them pound for pound. And they will differ if they do a syllable from sound. Thank you. You're welcome. See ya.